Hello, today we're going to talk about microkernel and monolithic kernel. First, what is a kernel? The kernel is a computer program that manages input output requests from software and translates them into data processing instructions for the central processing unit and other electronic components of a computer. The kernel is a fundamental part of a modern computer's operating system. What is a monolithic kernel? Well, it refers to the parts of a kernel like the scheduler, file system, memory management, networking stacks, device drivers, etc. Those are maintained in one unit within the kernel, and that is called the monolithic kernel. Some advantages are that it has faster processing, and the disadvantages of the monolithic kernel is that it has crash insecure, poor inflexibility, and kernel size explosion. Some examples is, is MS, DOS, Unix, and Linux. Now, and when we talk about microkernel, we refer to the very important parts, like IPC, which is inter-process communication, basic scheduler, basic memory handling, basic I.O. primitives, etc. Those are put into the kernel. The advantages are that it is crash resistant, it is portable, and it has a smaller size. And the disadvantages, it is slower processing and it has additional message passing. Some basic examples are Windows NT, Minix, and XNU. Now finally, when we talk about hybrid kernel, we refer to an architecture based on a combination of microkernel and monolithic kernel architecture. This approach combines the speed and simple design of monolithic kernel with the modularity and execution safety of microkernel. Basically, it is the best of both worlds. Thank you for watching.